So there's a rolly tasker. And here's some information. It's four ounce cloth, it's pretty light. So jib hanks. This is technically a jib, it's a head sail. But uh it is technically a jib. I don't know if you can read that. It's just in pen. It says Pocket Cruiser Jib Hanks Sail Warehouse. So more information. Looks like it has a big Rolly Tasker sticker on there. I think that possibly uh, may be removable. I don't know. I think I might just leave it on there. Or maybe that's iron on. But uh, they do brand their sail. And, and lucky for me, I'm glad to see it, but these are metal hanks. I was worried about what I was going to get, but I got a nice, easy to use. Okay, they're calling them Witcher hanks. Sounds like a person's name. So, he so I've actually been repairing my sail. I've been trying to sew on it. I've been learning a little bit about sewing, but uh, it's kind of nice to just get a sail where the... Uh, the learning curve has already been established and knocked out. So, from what I can see, this looks like it was made pretty nicely on a professional sewing table. And they've probably been tested. Anything that was weak was probably improved. So, that's pretty nice. I'm just going to roll it out. Okay, now I'm going to check the dimensions. I got to say, the one, my original that I am replacing, I don't even want to bring it out because it's so worn. I ended up getting like a hole toward the top, so. But the sail was old. It was as old as the boat, and the boat's like 20 years old. The dimension on the back side was, the longest actually was 11 foot 6. So it was 6 inches short. I'm a little bit curious, maybe this one might be six inches short as well. I don't even know if I'm in the camera view right now, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and measure this. Okay, so I believe that side was supposed to be 11 foot, it says 0.3. So the side that it holds on is supposed to be the 12 foot side. I think they're going to be pretty similar. But uh, like I was saying, my, my other sail was 11 foot 6. I think that's kind of the area that you had to use and they make it just a little bit smaller so it doesn't hit anything. I was kind of hoping this would be a little bit bigger because I honestly wanted just a little bit more power seeing that I usually only run the head sail because it's a small boat and I just like to relax so I kind of just lay back in the footwell and I don't worry about tipping over uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, measure that other side real quick here I think that's the luff So it looks like it's about three or four inches short of 12 foot. I think under tension, it would stretch to 12. Honestly, I think that it's some of the, the sewing is kind of, and the way it goes along the ground, it's not perfectly taut. So I think once it's taut, it will be. It almost looks small to me initially. So let me uh, definitely clear things up. I have no affiliation or interest with the sail warehouse or rolly tasker or anything i'm just happy to have a nice sail so i'm just really a customer nothing was sent to me for free I'm doing this of my own accord but if you like what you see here and you want to see more you can always like and subscribe to this channel or just go on over to my ebay store gb hatchery i sell quite a number of good condition excellent condition used items here you can see the foot is 48 inches but that's pretty easy to have pretty much almost taut
So if you are Rolly Task or, or you are the sale warehouse, you can always just buy something from my eBay store and um, that will help me out. So I have I have neat stuff. I don't I don't have anything that's not neat. As you can see, I do uh, a little bit of I do also do some virtual reality videos here and some might say hey, you know, if you're a VR head, you know, maybe you shouldn't be sailing or doing a YouTube video about sales. But the thing is, is that person needs to know that there are some really good VR games for sailing. There's like five. And they teach the basics. So if you're into sailing, if you just bought a sailboat, if you just bought a new sail, but you don't know how to sail, and you have a VR headset, you can play these VR games that will teach you the basics of sailing. I have one called Big Breezy Boat. It was on sale for 99 cents. And if I can't go sailing, if it's the dead of winter and I just feel like I want to feel what it's like again, I'll go out there and I'll go ahead and, and play that game. So this is nice. If you're looking at wind direction, this is already built in. You don't have to put something on that, that you think will work for you. You have a ready-made industrial feature already worked out for you. So this is so you can see the wind direction and you can see how well you're scooping the air. And a lot of times if these are set up right, you'll actually create lift, you know, sideways lift like a wing. So there's actually quite a number of them. It's like four. There's also quite a bit of reinforcement here. I wish I had something bad to say about it, but compared to what I had, this is pretty nice. So I'm having a hard time. This is their economy sale too. It was, it was um, described as economy. So that goes to show uh, looks like there's a bit of a, a cord in here. Like some nylon. That looks pretty beefy. Okay. So, do a quick measurement of this guy. 250. That's a quarter inch. These Hanks, they look stable. about 200. Here, this little eyelet, it's about 400. This big guy at the end here, he's about 600. So, it's crispy, and the Dacron I think it was supposed to be, I forgot what they said it was there, but uh, well, if you are in the market for a sale, I hope this video helped you, helped you understand what the sale warehouse will send you and what kind of quality you get from Rolly Tasker, even on the economy side for a small sailboat. Always remember, you can shop at my eBay store, GB Hatchery. Other than that, I hope you're safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.